really looking forward to this one tonight. The Islanders win the draw, and they'll start on the attack. Quick feed to Marchand. Comes up with the steal. Moves around along the half wall. Works it across to Pellet. Oh, what a save on the slapper. We're still in the early stages of this period. We're still scoreless. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. And that's blocked in traffic. Here he is, shoving in front. And he stopped that one. And he loses control here. And now he moves it quickly to Pasternak. The Bruins move to the offensive zone. Horvat's got it along the boards. They gain the zone from the left side. Scooped up along the wall by Horvat. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Sends it out in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. And he passes it up ahead to Sezikis. New York's got the puck against the half wall. Slides it diagonally to DeBrust. The Islanders have it in the offensive zone. Great forecheck by Holmstrom. Takes a shot. Oh, and he lays out to block that, and that'll earn some respect amongst his peers. Here's a shot. Here's a shot. Glove save. Zaka's gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. DeBrusque's got it against the boards. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Here we go, pucks in deep. Lindholm stick handling in his own zone. Tries to feed it over to Frederick. Read that perfectly with the poke check. The Islanders take possession here in the open ice. Dumps the puck in. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Wotherspoon scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Picked up along the wall by Peugeot. Palmieri's moving the puck through his own zone. And it's kicked away. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow! Stars! Yes! Yes! Yes, they're on their feet here tonight! Some goalies have got like reflexes in tonight. He's just a little to get across and unfortunately it hits him he doesn't get all of it and it winds up in the back of the net the Islanders draw first blood here in period number one now it's been a bit of a scrappy play going back and forth here James but they get up by one and gotta wonder if it now opens the game up swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up Here's a centering pass, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Holtz moving it ahead, gets the puck in deep. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Moves it to McLean. Boston's got the puck. The Bruins take it along the wing. Drills them. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Denied that one. Big stop by the keeper. Oh, man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Good hit to knock the puck loose. New York's got possession of the puck. The Islanders played along the wing. Boston's regained possession of the puck. Nice feed from the right wing. Fires it into the offensive zone. Ajo's got it in the defensive end. Nice zone entry from the middle. Moves it to the middle. Off the pipe. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. More than half the period has expired. New York's up one zip. 
Lakers won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Big time save. Oh, he is looking good in there tonight. The Islanders have used their advantage in shots to take the lead here in the first. New York's won the draw. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Great save from in tight. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive end, and the whole crowd is loving this. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. The Islanders win the faceoff. Denied by Omer. And he slides it quickly to Thompson. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Covers it up and will get a stoppage in play. Big faceoff coming up here in the offensive zone. Well, after that last shift with sustained pressure, you know that the goaltender is fatigued. you got to find ways to get pucks to the net. And now it's grabbed by Carlo. Gives him a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. Poked away in the defensive end. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one-goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this off. that snipe zone ability which is that wicked accuracy from shooting when the puck is nice and settled the Islanders come up with the defensive zone draw and that's a solid clearing attempt on the play Boston's gained possession along the boards New York's got it now oh what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away Pajot's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Bruins start with the puck in their own end. And now it's over to Marchand. To the low slot! And that goes off a player. Here's a blast! Oh, much respect as he blocks that one. From the slot, he shot. Big save in front. By slashing the leather on this save, the shooter's in a grade-A scoring area, and man, he just whips out the glove and makes the save. Zaka's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Pajot's won a big draw in their own end. A chance to clear. And they get the puck out, and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. Scrum along the wall. And some good footwork to kick it away. And they'll dump it in. Receives the pass. And they get that puck down the ice. Shot. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. The Islanders maintain that one goal lead thanks to a solid effort by the penalty killers. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. The Islanders get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well, see how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. And the top check. Oh, smart play. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. New York's looking to break out. Paul Mary's going to play it against the half wall. And that shot dies in traffic. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Shot! New York's got the puck along the boards. Taken along the wall by Carlo. Oh, what a stop on the play! The Islanders take it across the line. The Bruins get a hold of the puck under man. And the puck clears the zone. The Islanders are going to have to move it up quickly here if they're going to capitalize on this power play. 
Riley's got it along the wing. Here's a short pass to Paul Mary. Now a quick pass to McLean. Oh, just a great heads up play by Steen. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Paul Mary's picking up Steen. Oh, a quick little pickpocket on the play. And that's offside stopping the play. New York's looked great thus far, leading here late in the first period. The Islanders win possession here in the open ice. Dumps it in. Quick pass to Lindholm. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Taken by Pasternak. Sends the pass over. The Islanders with one last gasp before the period runs out. Poked away by Lindholm. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Handles the pass. Can't get it to go. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Hey fans, don't forget to pick up your team cameras. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, we've got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? All marks have been outstanding in the first period, James, and really the only reason this game is close. This is exactly why you build your team from the goaltending position out. Takes the feed at the point. Moves it quickly over to Pellet. Too much congestion in front. Still has possession. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. And they skated out of the danger zone. To his teammate. Here's a shot. Oh, what a glove save by Sorokin. The Islanders lead this one early in the second period. They have certainly had a lot of jump offensively tonight. Boston's won the faceoff. New York's trying to gain a step. He's in all alone. Not sure what happened there. Well, yeah, it looks like he was going left, then he was going straight. And they run it back with another. Yeah, back-to-back -back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. You know, it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. The Islanders are showing off a not-so-subtle flex here tonight, now up by a pair in the second. Well, you know how the mindset changes and how much more confident you are when you're getting great goaltending, and that's what's happening here. And now they're getting a ton of shots on net. They're dominating in terms of that. But they're creating a lot of momentum in the offensive zone that's resulting in goals. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Quick feed to Engvall. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Allmark's giving his team an opportunity to stay in the game. One save after another. He has to been under siege. I mean, his save percentage says it all. They have to shore up their defense and stop chasing the game. Lindholm's got the puck in his own zone. And he takes the feed. How did he stop that one? Here's a shot. Denies him again. Slides into Holmstrom. Moving into the attacking zone. Centering feed. And that's stopped. Moves it to Romanov. Boston's gained possession. The Bruins have it now. Into the offensive end right up the middle. Here's a short pass. Oh, what a save. He stopped it. Wow. Oh, that's an He scores. What a goal.
We see players work on this all the time in practice, James. It's about getting position, net front, and then once that puck is coming towards you, you got to get your hands away from the body with great hand-eye coordination. Just get your stick on it. You're not sure where it's going all the time, but this time it winds up in the back of the net. The Bruins have finally pushed back after that goal. They needed something, anything in this second period to light them on fire, James. And hopefully that goal does it because it's been flat so far. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice faceoff. Quick pass to Frederick. Boston's got the puck against the boards. The Islanders will play it in their own end. And he takes the feed. Denies him! Quick pass to Frederick. Throws it in. The Islanders gain possession. Musa quickly over to Romanov. New York's got it along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The Bruins make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Marchand. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Horvath's gaining momentum, and he loses control of the puck. The Bruins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Horvath. Moves it to Romanov. Puck scooped up by Pasternak. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. And it's a quick pass to McAvoy. Huge stop by Sorokin. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. Just a fabulous goal, Jane, with a lot of elements woven into it. I mean, he's stumbling, so he almost falls, but he's able to get a shot off just in time. He's able to hold himself up and get that shot off. His hands away from his body, not in the greatest position, but he manages to find the back of the net. Past the halfway mark of this period, we are all tied up in this one. New York's won the draw. Dobson's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Dumps it in. New York's got the puck inside the defensive zone. He got all of that hit. Feeds it across. Oh, what a save in front. And he takes the pass. Here's a short pass to Steen. He carries the puck up along the wing. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. The Islanders will have to kill off two minutes here, charging the call. The Bruins once again send out their power play unit. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Puck bounces into the bench and will get a face off. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. New York's got the puck after winning the defensive zone face off. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Quick pass to McAvoy. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Pajot's been slashed. Penalty coming up. Here's the official call. Well, he's going to get the slashing call here, James, and it's a stick infraction. What that means is you're in a vulnerable spot. Why? Your opponent has gained position on you. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four. 
four on four. You want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. That's blocked. Moves it quickly over to Pacho. And as he steps back out onto the ice, they'll go to work with the man advantage here. And that's poked away by Lindholm. Takes the feed. New York's got the puck in their own end. Paul Marys into the offensive zone now on the attack. Boston's got the puck shorthanded. The Islanders have it behind the net. Scores! A power play goal puts them in front. Well, and this is a huge opportunity that they took advantage of, James. They were urgent on the puck, but they also showed poise and patience. It's amazing and an emotional charge and what it can do for your team in particular when someone who scores it does the dirty work. They work hard, they're courageous in their play, and they exhibit the intangible. The Islanders pick up the all-important lead here as we inch closer and closer towards the second intermission. Well, anytime you score in the back half of a period, it certainly creates some much-needed momentum. Momentum that you want to carry forward to the intermission, and he can have a lengthy conversation about it and start the third with a bang. And can't redirect it into the net. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Puck moved over to Horvath. Great heads up play with the stick by Fogler. Boston's got it in their own zone. Slick feed. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Thompson. He was locked in there. Enters the offensive zone from the left. The Bruins look to start the transition game. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And that's stopped by Sorokin. Grabbed along the boards by Peugeot. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Sends it in front. And it's blocked. Kiki's got the puck along the wing. Dumps it into the O zone. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. Puts it in deep. The Bruins have it against the wall. Quick feed to Kiki. With possession along the wall. From right out of midair, he bats it down. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. Please don't throw any objects the Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Boston's got to have a fresh start in his third period, James. They haven't been urgent, and they've been chasing the entire game. And I could tell that right from puck drop in the first period. They weren't urgent off of the faceoff. They weren't where they needed to be, and it's looked like that all game long. They need to change it now if they want to get back in this one. From the point, and that's wide of the net. He gets a great look at the net, but it is way off target. It can be fast, it can be hard, but it's got to hit the net. Answered the call on that play. New York's have been on a roll offensively tonight, and they lead it here early in this third period. Horvath's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Just a simple pass save made by Omar. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. McAvoy's known for great stick checking in his own end, guys. He's got that stick em up zone ability, and that's his puck checking skills that he uses to fend off an attack. New York's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, comes up with a stop. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Boston's in transition. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Denies him in front. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Puts it on there. Just gets a Keep it out. Boston's got it in their own zone. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. 
New York's got control of it now from their own end. Great use of the stick at center by Fulmer. Moves it to Sezikis. There's a collision with some authority. Sends a pass over. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Takes for a poke check by Fulmer. Boston's got it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Zaka. He takes a moment to backtrack but maintains possession. Scooped up along the wall by Pellick. Tries to get it to Thompson. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. And now it's to DeBrusque. Passes it over to Forborg. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And he's knocked off the puck there. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Pachos gained the line and on the attack. From the slot, wrist shot. Stopped by the goaltender. This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes a save. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. It's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. Snaps it on net. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. The Bruins play it along the boards. The Islanders gain control of the puck. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Fires it. Shuts him down. Sends the pass in front. And that goes off a stick. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Snaps it on them. There's another stop. What pressure here in the offensive end. And a whistle stops the play. We've got a pass. Coming up on the defenders here. I love the one free one set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. This is no! Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Barzell's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. The Bruins win it in the defensive zone. Trying to clear the puck, and it stays in. Takes the pass. Oh, and he makes the save. Just not enough to keep it out. Coyle is gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Islanders win it. Makes the save, cool and calm under pressure. Puck clear from the defensive end. The Bruins looking against the half wall. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Riley. Barzell's taking it from his own end. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. The Islanders played along the boards. Puck grab by Barzell. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. Quick pass to Barzell. And that's off a stick. He scores! Off the pipe and bulging the twine. Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. I love the patience of this power play. It's all about puck movement. And when you're going to let a shot go, you want to make sure that there's traffic net front. And that's exactly what happens. The goaltender scream, and they find the back of the net. The Islanders are now up by two here in the back half of this third period. Man, this is a good position to be in. Uh, it's the best position to be in, and you don't want to give any life to your opponents. You have to make sure that you're pounding pucks. You're on them first. Listen, if you're forechecking, they don't get the puck. Attack. Here's a pass to the middle. Scores! What a finish on the play! Matthew 
Well, this is a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. Boston's finally shown some pushback in the third, and they've got a goal here. It's amazing, James, how a game can change within the game, and that happened right there on that last sequence. Getting to the middle of the ice, fighting for possession, and that's a sense of urgency late in the third. On the attack along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Nelson. Talk about sacrifice. What a block. Saka's lugging the puck. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. The Islanders cross the line and gain the zone. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. They score! They've tied it up! They have tied it up here with a big-time goal in the third! Well, and they couldn't have waited much longer there, James, as they're running out of runway, but they found a way to get it done. you got to come up big at the right moment, embrace the pressure, and that's exactly what they did. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. Boston's playing to win here now. They have tied it up here in the third. You said it, James. They're not sitting back. They're attacking. And this is urgency that often presents itself late in the game. You wonder why you didn't start that way, but you can certainly finish it. Along the half wall with the puck. Big time hit against the wall there. Tough one, man. That was thunderous, and it even broke a pane of glass. There's going to be a stoppage in play here. More than half the frame has been played here. It's all tied up. Zach has won the faceoff. Boston's playing it through center. Moves it quickly over to Van Riemsdyk. That's some smart heads-up defensive play by Envol. Lead pass ahead. They used their speed on this counter-attack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it. They could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out. And it winds up in the back of the net. The Islanders have found the go-ahead goal here in the back half of the third period. This is exactly where they want to be, James. Late in the third period, you have the lead. Now you have the momentum. And you certainly want to attack, but you want to make sure that you're in good defensive posture when the puck transitions. Play continues. Listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James. I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board. And guess what? The goaltender knows it. He's got a step. Oh, what a save. This game has everything to stand on. Deuces. for his efforts. The pass reception is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. New York's looking to close things out here. They've been the dominant team all night. Hard to see them taking their foot off the gas now. The Bruins win the faceoff at center. Shot misses a golden opportunity there. Well, they're still in this game, and you can't allow those opportunities to slip away, James. And when it's on your stick, you have to at least hit the net and create some momentum. The Islanders will play the puck from behind the net. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. And he slides it quickly to Lindholm. Gets it over to Carlo. Taken down, and the officials caught it. Here comes the call. The Islanders are getting two minutes for tripping. We got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay at the ringside. Pasternak's had the upper hand in this battle, guys. His scoring prowess was on display. It's a big reason why I'm giving him the edge here. Pinned up.
along the boards. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle stops the play. I think this is a pretty easy call. I mean, you can't get in the way of someone without the puck and impede on their forward movement. What an opportunity for the power play here. They've got lots of time to work this five on three. What an opportunity, a long five on three here. And this can turn the momentum, switch the entire game in their favor. They have to find a way to execute. Quick feed to Saka. Approaching the final minute of regulation. Boston's emptied the net. The extra attacker's now out on the ice. Quick feed to Pasternak. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Van Riemsdyk's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. New York's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Looks to make a play over to Coyle. Boston's in on the offensive attack now. Fires it on net. Boston's goalie is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. Final seconds of this one. And the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. Yeah, James, it really could have gone either way. Both teams were faced with the same opportunities on the power play, and one just found a way to have a really strong PK, and the other, I mean, power play is about execution. It's about reading the PK and understanding how to open up the lanes. They did an excellent job of that. Well, that brings a fun night of hockey to the end for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. She's Cheryl Pounder. We will see you next time at the rink.